My mom and sister tried to reconcile me with my ex for years, but I married someone else and got pregnant. I started dating my brother's best friend when I was 16. We were together until I graduated high school when he proposed, and I rejected it. There was a lot of drama with my family, asking me to reconsider because we could have a long engagement or make a promise to reconcile. My relationship with my brother, who was 36, suffered for a while, but the one with my sister, 32, never recovered. She was sure my ex was the best fit for me and became unbearable when she started dating my ex's brother. My ex was invited everywhere by my siblings, even to some family holidays, but I didn't say anything since he was their friend too. That is until my sister started to push for us to get back together. My sister did everything from trying to get us on blind dates to making us share a room during holidays. No matter the occasion, my ex was invited to it. After a while, I had enough and asked my parents to intervene. They were clear with my siblings and stopped inviting my ex to things or allowing him to tag along so much. It was slightly better, but while my brother backed off, my sister didn't dot it all came to a crash when I met my husband during a semester abroad. He was from another university but the same country, and we just clicked. It was magical for me, and we got engaged after dating for a year. My family was very happy for me, except my sister. She kept insisting I was in the honeymoon phase and would grow out of it. I clearly didn't. After many, many, I can't express enough how many, fights and attempts to reunite me with my ex, I simply let her know if she pulled anything again, I would stop talking to her, what does she do after that warning? She makes me her maid of honor and requests I spend all my time with the bridal party, aka my ex and one of her friends. As my husband stayed, we didn't realize until we were at the reception that the poor girl tried to make a pass at my husband. My sister said that since we are not married, it was okay to explore things with other people. I left the party, and the next day, I spoke with my parents and brother, explained that while I won't make them choose, I will not talk to my sister ever again, and if they try to fix stuff between us, I will simply cut contact with them too. Not my mom was devastated in trying to negotiate, but my dad and brother said they would respect my decision. Apart from two attempts from my mom, I haven't spoken, written, or anything with my sister in the past six years. My sister has tried everything to reconcile with me, from gifts to tantrums, but I simply don't talk to her at all. If we are at a family event or dinner, I simply act like she doesn't exist. At first, she made snarky comments or tried to create drama, but since nobody backed her up, she gave up. She did have a meltdown when she was informed she was invited to my wedding but would not be part of any preparation. My brother says he feels guilty for going along with it for so long, and his relationship with my ex has suffered since. They still talk, but they are not as close anymore. My mom's birthday was a couple of weeks ago, and I finally announced we are expecting our first child. This is not the first grandchild but is the first granddaughter. Everybody was very happy, except my sister. My mom noted that and asked me for tea the other day. My sixth sense told me not to go, but I wanted to be positive the first thing I noticed when I arrived was my sister's car. Then as I entered the door, there was my sister, her husband, my ex, and my ex's mom. They wanted to have an intervention since my childish tactic has gone on for so long. My ex said that he was just trying to be romantic but he understands I couldn't appreciate it. His mom said I was just hurting my sister for wanting the best for me and she apologized already, so I need to forgive her I was just sending texts to my family, dad, brother, husband, and looking at my mom in disbelief. My brother-in-law had the gall to tell me I was a hurtful person and I need to learn how to act like an adult since I'm having a baby now. Then my mom began reading a letter about how hurt she was that her daughters weren't close, how my sister was wrong, but she was well intended, etc. Then my sister read her letter and began crying and telling me basically another version of what the rest did. I said nothing to anybody, just sat there until my brother arrived. He was angry beyond anything I've ever seen before. He grabbed my stuff and told them all he was really disappointed and disgusted. We went outside and sat in his car until my dad and husband arrived. By then, I was just sobbing, and he kept saying sorry. I am unsure what happened in there, but I sent everybody except mom an email with my lawyer's number info attached and stated I don't wish to be contacted by any of them ever again, and if they do, I'll go to the police, nobody has contacted me, but I know from my dad that my mom and sister are hysterical. They told him they hoped to repair things and for my sister to be able to be in my baby's life, maybe possibly being a godmother. 
My dad is staying with my brother at the moment. They support me, but some others in the family don't. I've even had mutual friends call me since they are worried about my sister's well-being and asking me what happened since she is now going by the narrative that my husband is keeping me away from my family to I hate having my business in public, but I did go the public route and posted a long FB post about everything that happened. Sister, villain, ex are being dragged, which even if it wasn't 100% intended, I feel is deserved. Now, my mom has been inconsolable, which does make me feel bad, but not as bad as she made me feel with her little intervention. I agreed to have a talk with her a couple of days ago and laid the ground rules for any possible future interaction, including therapy, family therapy, clear boundaries, no sharing information about me with my sister, and separate holidays. Most important, if she ever pulls anything like this again, she will for sure be cut off. She feels this is too much but is willing to do it. She thought it meant immediate access to baby news, and it is all solved, but I told her it is a process, and she needs to prove she has improved. My dad and brother refuse to talk to my sister, and they keep apologizing for not stopping it earlier. We've forgiven them since they were able to move on and grow. My husband supports whatever I decide, but my mother-in-law is unsure cutting my mom's access to her granddaughter is the way to go but says it is ultimately my decision, I am torn about what to do with my mom. Commenter, one of their logic, like now that you're pregnant, you should stop playing make-believe with your husband and realize your happy ever after is with your ex what about your baby? Your ex and his family can accept her. Hoop. My sister claims she is not trying to get us together anymore, but then I can't take away her chance to be an aunt. She says I am a bad sister for being close with myself, who are amazing people. I obviously don't believe her. My issue is what to do with my mom. Commenter, she couldn't be your best friend without you dating your ex whoop. I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea what her thought process is. My husband has the theory she is just mentally unwell. The ex, the most ridiculous and scary thing is he still has the mixtape CDs I made him when we were dating, those things are about 20 years old, and he still holds on to them. Commenter, I'm kind of surprised your stalker ex, and yes, I will call him that, is still in your brother's life. That said, hold firm with your mother, no timelines, she has to show she can stick to your rules. Sister needs to live with the consequences of her actions. Oop, to be fair to my brother, he did start to cut him off when I told my parents I was very uncomfortable with my ex around all the time. I was living away for college but would visit my family during breaks. He also made a very big effort to make my husband feel welcome, which deteriorated his relationship with my ex even more because he felt betrayed by my brother. Nowadays, my husband is one of my brother's closest friends, and he only speaks with my ex when it is about our nephew or to not be rude, commenter, you need to realize that your mom is supporting all of this. A big reason CIS is continuing this is because she knows your mom also thinks it's right. Oh OP, this makes me very sad since my mom was always so nice to my husband, and now I'm re-evaluating their whole relationship whoops, background and culture, not Indian nor from a religious family. My parents were good, nice parents, they thought it was a romantic thing at the beginning but later realized it wasn't. They encouraged me to go to college and everything. Now I know my dad actually supported me, and my mom might have just played along and have the same beliefs as my sister. My sister had this idea we would be best friends, married to brothers. Update 1, same day, 16 hours later, the end that I wanted to post but couldn't. I want to thank you for the amount of support and advice so far. I want to get a little more info that is in my comments since there are too many for me to answer them all individually. My ex and I broke up when I was 18, he is 37 now. The reason for our breakup was that I didn't want to get married or engaged. My sister's insistence comes from the fixation of wanting the both of us to marry brothers and being best friends. My mom has always been so nice to my husband, but I am beginning to think it was all a facade, which makes me very sad.myx has been with people since the breakup, he also has two kids with an ex-partner, has never been married. My sister says that is a very romantic thing to do since he has only ever wanted to marry me. I should also mention his obsessive behavior is not only with me. I know from the grapevine he was very similar with the mother of his children, but now he is refocusing on me because my sister is encouraging it, since she needs his help on getting back in my good graces so she can be a good aunt. My brother did start to cut him off when I told my parents I was very uncomfortable with my ex around all the time. I was living away for college, but we visit my family during breaks. 
He also made a very big effort to make my husband feel welcome, which deteriorated his relationship with my ex even more because he felt betrayed by my brother. Nowadays, my husband is one of my brother's closest friends, and he only speaks with my ex when it is about our nephew or to not be rude, both my parents seem to be supportive of me not wanting to be around my ex so much, but I guess only my dad was in agreement. On the day of the tea party, my mom told him she was making me my favorite tea and sweets, but he couldn't stay since we would have quality time together. My dad left to go hang with my uncle since he thought it was a nice sentiment for my mom. He is very pissed off. My husband tried very hard with my sister when they met, but now he just ignores her and believes she is mentally unwell. We don't know if she is or not, but still, there is no excuse for how she behaves, they invited the ex and his mom because they thought it would be good for me to face the root of my issues with my sister, or at least is their official version. Also, we are not Indian, not really religious, my husband and I are from the same race. There is also no wealth disparity between my ex and my husband, if there is, it would be in favor to my husband. Lastly, my sales, both my brother's wife and husband, are enraged about the situation. My husband and his sister will be talking with their mom about her comment. My brother and his wife are considering going and see with my mom permanently, in the meanwhile, they will not allow her to see my nephews for a bit. The more I read, the more I think I might have to go and see with my mom for the sake of my kid. My husband is heartbroken to think all their interactions were faked, but says he is even more enraged she made me cry and doubt I was a good person. I realize there are still countless conversations to have with my family about my mom, but I will definitely be going for a restraining order against my sister and the ex, the proper semi-update the state of my family so far. I had a conversation with my mother, but she insists she knew best. I'm a bad person, and she will be getting grandparents' rights or even custody. I am nothing what she says, but I still panicked, so we sent her a letter about it. My dad moved out definitely, he told her that he could not sign on her terrorizing his kid. My brother and his wife also decided to go and see. I know it seems very sudden, but I think I understand the level of despair I had after the intervention. My husband told them after they had to think very well about what they appreciated and to be kind and receptive to everything, but would not raise a kid in a toxic environment. Recent $371,637 why I love my husband, my husband is very heartbroken about my mom and her fakeness. He says she will never get anything from him, that is as much as revenge goes here. My husband and sisters talked to my MIL about her comment and made her understand why it was very out of it. As many of you assumed, she is a very loving mom from a loving family. My dad and brother keep apologizing for any role they played on this. My dad can't believe it went to this point. He says it is still surreal for him, regardless, they support me no matter what and say they are willing to help me fight whatever ridiculous fight my mom or cider put. Update 2, December 17, 2021, I want to thank the lovely messages and encouraging words. I decided to post a year so it wouldn't be deleted like the original was. Things are great and horrible at the same time, but I'm trying to remain positive about everything. My brother and his wife sat my nephews down and explained that grandma was ill and tried to hurt Auntie Diamond and the little cousin. They explained grandma would not be part of their lives anymore, but that doesn't mean she doesn't love them. It was really hard, but the kids are smart. They were also told other auntie is no longer in their life, but they don't care because they dislike her, not because of me alone, simply because she is not exactly great with him either. My mom lost it when she was informed and started claiming she had rights and she will get to see her grandchildren. My dad is looking for a permanent place but will stay with us until January mainly due to my brother's MIL coming to visit and we having the space. He is really sad, has called divorce lawyers already, move back stuff, etc. He has been getting countless emails, messages, and calls from my mom, but he doesn't reply to anything. The lawyer told him to not block her right now, he considered maybe forgiving her, but I got a huge spike on my blood pressure a couple of days after my last post here because she decided to come to my place with my sister. My sister had never been to my home, my mom knew I didn't want her there, but I guess that doesn't matter anymore. The cleaning lady let them in since she knows my mom, and I haven't had the time to inform her she was not allowed to come in anymore. I was just coming from some errands, and I saw the car. This time I didn't get in, I called all of my relatives and myself, husband, sister was the one closer to me. She confronted them and told them either they leave a call to police on them for trespassing. They left, 
and I started feeling bad. We went to the doctor, and they told me all the excitement was not good and I needed to start relaxing or would hurt the baby. My dad went home with my brother, uncle, and my husband and took every single thing he could think of. My husband says my sister was there too, and she kept screaming at him that he destroyed her family. My dad told my mom and sister they almost killed the baby, and he also doesn't want to talk to any of them again. My sister kept sending messages to my brother dating for help, but it is not happening. I am devastated, and very sad for my nephew since he is losing so much of his family because his mother has some wacky ideas, but it is what it is. As per the custody and grandparent rights, my mom wants to throw around so much, my lawyer sent her a letter stating she caused harm to my health and the baby, and if she keeps harassing me, it will become an official legal matter. My brother also sent her a letter using her harassing of me. Both mom and sister have refused to go to therapy, they might be mentally ill, but with all of this coming to light, it is obvious they have been in agreement for a long time. I will focus on spending the holidays with my family, being healthy, and going to therapy. Update 3, March 30, 2022, Hi, I've received some requests for an update and had a little time, so decided it could be a good fit. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your comments, messages, and well, every advice because I feel we owe you for being even more paranoid than we were. Being a couple, People ask me what method we use to know the gender of the baby. I announced it after 20 weeks, the reason for waiting so long is we have experienced a loss in the past, which we were preparing to announce when it happened, and we wanted to be sure and have a safety feeling about the announcement. Also, we were naive enough to think it would be special for my mom, and you were right. After posting, I handed it to my husband, and he read your messages, comments, and advice for some days. We swiped the house and thankfully found nothing but felt extremely unsafe, so we went to a hotel with my dad. But then we realized there was a tracker on my fur baby's vest. He is a very small dog and gets cold a lot, so he has a funny vest. Never in a million years would have thought of looking there, but we discovered the tracker when my dad walked him around the hotel area, and my sister came and asked him about me and reconciliation. I was really upset, so we decided to move. Thankfully, we can afford it. We are renting at the moment and also renting out our place, so it is not just empty. I used to love that house, but now I feel as ruined and tainted somehow. Sadly, my parents' house feels the same, and not only for me. We all, brother, husband, dad, sale, and even my husband's family, changed our numbers, got new electronics, and notified employers, friends, police. We also started therapy and family therapy. My dad and brother feel extreme guilt over the situation, even if I have truly forgiven them, but we are healing as a unit. My sister and mom insist they are not wrong and they don't need therapy. My dad made a new will in which my sister's son gets a trust fund and some inheritance, but my sister gets a token amount. He is truly done with her. I was feeling bad for her, but I decided to focus my energy on my baby. She is here, and we are blessed. It is not the experience I thought of since my mom is not around me anymore, but so many friends and family members have truly surprised us. By the end, we were so paranoid, we started testing some people we were unsure of, telling them I was going into labor. It worked like a charm. We discovered who was still feeding info to my mom and sister and cut them out. The rest understood when we explained the reasoning. My ex and my friends now called Bates went around saying the baby was his cause we've even having a torrent affair due to my undying love for him. Nobody believes him anymore, but it made my husband contact Bates' employer and tell him about all the craziness. Long story short, he was put on a suspension pending internal reviewing to I am almost positive he will be fired since they have asked us for more and more info, and they seem really apologetic. My mom has tried to find us, but all the people that know of our location have gone and see with her. My dad's lawyer sent her a letter stating that due to her instability, all correspondence will be through lawyers now. It has been us and my dad because I felt so bad for him being alone. He has promised he will be fine and nothing is my fault, but I still feel awful. He has been the best babysitter, feeder, diaper changer in the universe. My nephews are loving is always in my dad even got a visit with my sister's son. It came about because she kept making videos threatening to hurt herself if my husband didn't stop alienating her family. So my dad emailed her about seeing her son and told her he would call the police about her threat. So that seems to have stopped. Lastly, 
someone brought up I gave Bates false hope. It can't be further from the truth. I spent years uncomfortable because I thought he would move on. Then after I spoke up and then met my husband, I spent such a long time fighting my sister about it. I had a very long engagement, which is why I married after my sister. I still love my mom and sister, but I choose a healthy life for me and my family over that love. I have discovered a lot of loyalty, love, and compassion through this whole thing. As strange as it may seem, my feel lucky it all exploded. Hopefully, it is not much of a ramble. Big hugs for me. Update 4, June 25, 2022, we officially moved into a new house, with my dad moving into the guest house. We had many discussions both in and outside therapy, and we decided that while it would be good for him to be with us, we all still need our space. We are still renting out the old place and will be deciding what to do later. My dad has the grandchildren all together about three times a week now. He still has to see my sister's kid separately since she refused to let him take the kid unless she knew where he lived, which to be fair, is a normal thing, but considering she is crazy, we don't want her close. My mom complained to the lawyers about how unfair it is my dad still gets to see all grandchildren, but there is nothing she can do about it. About a month ago, my dad told me he had a confession, and my stomach started hurting, dear reader, he pays for my nephew's sister's kid's schooling and babysitting, which is why she still allows him to see him. He felt so guilty for hiding it and didn't want to keep secrets. I assured him it was nothing wrong and to please don't feel bad. On Mother's Day, my dad got an email with a link to an Instagram account in which they made a sad video about my mom and how most of her family has abandoned her and how much of a saint my sister is for being there for her. It was really pathetic and enraged me, but I just sent it to the lawyer. Dad officially filled for divorce in May, and the process is still ongoing. My mom insists he is wrong, but my dad said he'd rather drink bleach than go back to her. So I think that is final. My brother and husband took my dad out for Father's Day and had a blast. My sister posted many, many things that day, but they managed to block my dad from even learning about it because we wanted him to enjoy it. They also did a camping trip with the kids aka went to a hotel, got a suite and put a tent in the middle area for the kids and a little tippy for baby. Honestly, having a baby is one of the best things that have happened to me, and seeing my husband being the amazing father I knew he would be makes me so happy. It is tiring, but we have so much support. I feel grateful beyond anything because I have my rocks on my side. My sales and I now get to have a little calendar on sharing things all the kids get to do things that are age-appropriate, and if they want to, we want to let them all know they do not need to hang out with people they dislike, and their voices matter. Right now, they are all obsessed with baby and say they are her protectors, and we get little get-togethers brunch, etc. Honestly, having family time is now a pleasure and not a headache without my sister there. I know it's wrong to say, but she just sucks the positivity out of the room. My email also loves having time with baby and stays in the guest room about once a week. She asked politely and said she didn't want to take baby for sleepovers or anything. I feel respected and heard by her, and yes, it broke down sometimes because I miss my mom a lot. I miss the mom I had or thought I had, not the one that told me I would be a terrible mother or was a hateful woman. My therapist says it's a marathon and to focus on the good. Speaking about good, Bates was terminated. Not only that, but his reputation in his industry was not only damaged but nuclear level damaged, so was his brother's, but because Bill is not in an industry that cares as much about reputation, he still has his job. As far as I know, Bates sent me a 12-page double-sided, single-space letter about how hurt he is. I am denying him what's his, and my husband is so threatened by him that he had to go and destroy him and professionally because he would not be able to destroy anything else. I said seemed cause I didn't read it, my lawyer did and gave me a summary. I also heard from the grapevine no, I don't ask people they just tell me since they know he is stalking me that the mother of his children moved, and he didn't even care and said it was for the best. This man doesn't even care about his kids and wants to play family with baby and me. Sadly, he won't be homeless or anything because mommy already let him move back in with her, so I doubt he will learn anything from this. Not the flashiest of updates but just what is. Oh, and my husband burned or donated every single item given to him by my mom or my parents with my dad's blessing. He says life is too short to give her space in his life, even with memories. Comments, commenter, I am really glad you were coming through all that with the good bits of your family very intact. 
I don't really get the firing part. I get Bates as a bad dude, but has he ever done anything that is relevance or a connection to his work? OOP, without giving up his industry, it is a very close-knit one, and when you get a bad reputation, it sucks. He was thought as a nice but distant as a feminist single dad before this, even told some co-workers I was with him for longer than we were. Commenter, up I am reading your full post from the best of Reddit at 1.30am from my home in India and I have respect and sorry for what you faced and I hope your child grows to be healthy and nice as you both also I hope this whole fiasco is over soon and you can be beat you CK with your mother after her ex fantasy is over respect for you keep fighting oh, that is a lovely sentiment but I will never talk to my mom again. I miss her a lot. I cry a lot, she is not the person I thought she was, and baby deserves the best family we can get, and my mom is not part of it. It breaks my heart, but I need to protect baby. New update, June 30th, 2024, long time no see. I have some updates for you, but first, I want to thank you for all your comments and messages. Every time I log into this account, I am bombarded by mostly positive things, and I appreciate it a lot. I am unsure if anybody will read this, but for those who went updates, they are mainly good ones. With that out of the way, let's get to it. My parents are divorced now, after many fights and tantrums from my mother, she kept the house and got a bolt payment, but that is it. My dad is like a new man, and we are also happy for him. A little throwback when all the drama happened, we did not fire our cleaning lady. This is a woman that had been helping my husband's family for decades, and I was very stressed out about her being out of work because of what my crazy family did. Also, we are not slobs, and she is not polishing floors on her knees or anything like that to I in any case, my dad spoke with her and told her she was on paid vacation and until we had a new house to please wait for us if she wanted, but she was absolutely not fired. She was really happy about it, and so was her family. My dad started to get food and stuff from them from time to time because they were so thankful about what he was doing for them. Well, she has a sister who owns her own nail salon, and my dad is dating her now. She is a very lovely woman and has grown children, so she understands the dynamics happening. Sometimes he has been very clear he is not moving or marrying, and she is pleased with that because she likes her independence. My mother nearly had a stroke when she heard about his new relationship and kept saying it was a late midlife crisis and he had to resort to being a sugar daddy. This is obviously what I heard because I don't have any contact with her but last I heard, she is having a hard time. She is struggling because she was never good at budgeting and relied on my dad to put a stop on ridiculous purchases. My sister is also struggling because my dad is not helping her with money anymore. You'll see, he was willing to keep helping for the sake of my nephew, but then things got very rough. My nephew started calling my kid an affair baby, how she is not with her real dad called my other nephews delusional, and during a birthday party, he even pushed one of my nephews on my husband's side, saying they were not my kid's cousins, only he was the kids were perplexed and so so confused but immediately told an adult about it. My dad spoke with him, but he kept repeating it. He spoke with my sister, and she said she could do nothing to prevent a kid from telling the truth, and didn't all kids tell always the truth. He told her until there is a change he is cutting them off. She panicked and cried, but she is also super stubborn, so now my nephew goes to public school because my husband made my dad cut them off. Bates while well, he is still unemployed. I know I was cryptic about it, but he was in an industry related to vulnerable women and some of it related to stocking irony much, that's why he was fired. The organization he was in didn't want this to splash on them. I have received two more very long handwritten rambling letters from him, and since he only has my lawyer's address, Guess who has the honor of receiving, reading, and file those ramblings? I love my lawyer, and he is a champ. Apart from that, in a gossip, I have not had bad issues related to him except for one. I was at the grocery store, and a random woman came over to ask if my kid was Bates' baby. I was speechless, in shock. I asked her what she was on, and she said he has a photo of us on his profile, and I should be ashamed of myself for hurting such a good man. It turns out he is still going by the narrative my kid is his, and I loved him so much. That is all old news, but at the end, what shocked me the most was the pic comment. This is not a photo that has been public or anything like that, it was sent to a family group once and that is it. I told my husband immediately, and he was enraged, with composed. We decided to smoke out the wrath. Long story short, it was my dad's two sisters feeding info to my mom. 
My dad was so disappointed but also had no doubts cutting them off. They are still begging him to talk to them again. My brother and his family are doing great, we see them a lot and have been in some family holiday since the last update. They are also in C with my mom and sister. My Sayel is actually super happy about it because it turns out she was not a fan of our mom but kept the peace. My in-laws keep being lovely as well. We allow me overnight babysitting now too, and she is over the moon with it. Sometimes she is all her grandchildren under the same roof, and they are all delighted to be with her. She is a former flight attendant, so their favorite game is to pretend airplane overall, they love her, and we know she is good without kids, so we not worry she had to make her socials private because my mom kept stalking her. I am sure she is extremely jealous, but she made her own bed. Lastly, my husband keeps me saying whenever little things come up. We are thinking if we should have another baby or maybe adopt one. We are still undecided. We have a great support system and the privilege to have these conversations. I still miss my mom a lot. I sometimes cry when I realize there are milestones I can no longer share with her, but she is a bad person, and the safety of my family matters more. Last fun fact, this Father's Day, they actually went camping, he went great apart from the mosquito bites and some hill place sunburns.